The use of sound effects in your video can totally change the feel of it and really capture the viewer's attention. Hey, I wasn't done with you. Get back over here. <laughs> Don't talk to me like that. Go to your room. How many different audio effects do you think I just used right there? I bet you it was more than you think, and I use them in ways that I bet you haven't thought of. Stick around, I'll show you how. I'm like really frizzy today. Hit the subscribe button and click the notification bell to be part of the conversation. This is the breakdown of that entire intro hook. First, I started by scripting the idea and filming myself acting out the components that I would need to make this happen. You can see me looking down and pretending to see the words fly off the screen. I found the title animation that I wanted to use and dropped those in so that it looked like I was interacting with the text. But here's where the real magic starts to happen. The first thing I did was to add this swooshing sound of the text flying away off the screen. This is actually a free sound effect of someone swinging as if to throw a punch at someone. I found this on the YouTube sound effects library. I just isolated one swoosh and synced the timing up to the words racing off the screen. I also knew I wanted my usual music bed, so I dropped that in right at the beginning. But I did something very intentional here. I wanted to draw attention to my interaction with the text, so when it leaves the screen, I cut the music. That worked great, but it felt a little bit dry to me just having it stop, so I found the sound of a record scratching and tossed that in right where the music stopped. That not only made it sound like someone had pulled the needle off of a turntable and stopped the music, it actually helped accentuate the swooshing sound of the text racing off the screen. Next, I wanted to call that text back like it had been a bad kid or something. So after I read that line, I pretended I saw the text coming back in, and I dropped another piece of text above to fit that timing. I used the same swooshing sound for it coming back in, but I wanted the return sound to have some real personality. I wanted to make it sound like it had been sucked back right to where it was, but I couldn't find a free sound effect that had that sound I heard in my head. So I found a free sound effect of a bullet hitting a car and dropped that right in there. But I did something that I've done before. I reversed that sound effect. Instead of the bang of the bullet firing and the sound trailing off, now it builds up to a sudden stop. It almost sounds like time being reversed, which works perfectly for this section. Next, I wanted that text to actually talk to me. But what would talking text sound like? I, I had no idea and I could not find anything that made sense to me. So I turned to another sound effect trick called Foley. Foley is the art of creating your own sound effects. I had the idea that the text might sound something like a high-pitched chattering, so I took my son's sleeping bag out of our camping gear and put it in front of the microphone. I just rubbed my hand back and forth quickly over the bag that it was packed in, and that gave me this sound. What I also really wanted was for the text to sort of move when it spoke, and the easiest way to accomplish that was just to add a shake effect to the entire section of footage. I dialed that effect into where I liked it and cut the link so that it worked perfectly. Next, I wanted to send my text back off screen, so I told it to leave, added another swoosh effect underneath, and this time I used that same bullet sound effect, but in regular forward speed. That made it sound like my text took off like a bullet. Once the text had left and before I started speaking again, I started my music track right back up at that spot. So how many audio sounds and effects did I use to make this little clip come to life? Well, let's take a look. Including the music bed sections, I used one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine sounds to make this video track come to life and all of them were completely free. I'll leave a link below to the YouTube audio library where you can download all sorts of free effects to use in your YouTube videos. Play with them, spin them around, have some fun. I'll talk to you soon, peace.